What's up guys, this is Tyrone Trinity and today I will take you guys on a tour of my home toolbox that's someday going to be on the shop once this COVID-19 is all over it. Alright guys, so the first things that I see when I open my toolbox is the Nipex 3 set pliers. These are some really quality ass pliers. So if they're so fancy, man, they're they're just fancy. I haven't used them yet, but just got them about two months ago. I use this ones a lot, but other than that, I haven't used any of them yet. These are my wrenches. Most of my tools, my starting tools that I when I work for this company is the Husky. That's the mechanic set, 400 something piece mechanic set, and um, I suggest not buying it because uh, they really they really suck. Let's just leave it at that. So ski wrenches, ski wrenches, Harbor Freight bit driver. And some proper fake screwdrivers, sockets, 3H sockets. The reason why I'm hiding only have 3H right here because a quarter inch, it's because I'm at home and at home I'm only using like an automotive usually use 3H on the truck business, usually half inch. So let's go to the next cart. Alright, and my next cart will be just screwdrivers, Matco screwdrivers. If you watched my other video, you saw this on my first ever Matco hole. Uh, they really, I really like them. Oh, I love, just love the feel of it. Stop my um, stapler. Heavy duty stapler. And really cheap harbor freight scraper they need to be grinded down because they are really dull they suck next drawer will be mostly wrenches and this is a I got this when I was working at this one company that they require you to cover your uh, where you the part of you're working at so you don't scratch the paint of the cars because it's brand new Subaru cars. Alright. Husky wrenches. Biggest wrenches ever. So I know I'm going to have to upgrade one day to a much bigger wrenches because these are not big enough. That's what she said. For, uh, for the diesel industry. Sorry about my dog, say hi to Sergeant. What's up, Sergeant? Let's get back. This is a specialty tool, not a real specialty tool, but for it's more like a tutor pipe, but for wrenches. And it's called a Big Berta. Hose. I got a lot of hose. Lady shoe. Prior. And the last drawer. Half inch sockets, half inch impact and deep and medium sockets or stubby sockets. And my 12 point socket. I'm not a big professional for. Uh, 12 point sockets because I don't get the point of it and I don't know if it's just husky but the company I used to work for I rounded a lot of sockets I know it's not a good thing using 12 point I, don't, I think it's just the husky thing or but I always straight up just use six points now pliers gear wrench pliers really good pliers by the way they're all stacked up right here because I don't really use them inside the house or around the house but when I need them it's there 
Um, if you have Toyota vehicles and you like to service your own vehicle, change oil, you need this unfiltered wrench for Toyota Highlander, Toyota RAV4, and most of the Toyota SUVs and trucks. Hybrid Freight. Pittsburgh, that is. And the money box is what I call the money box when it's the most expensive part of your box. That's why I've linked that last. Is the Milwaukee box, which is the whole box right here, costs about fifteen hundred. And I know it's not that much for some of the people in the industry, but for me, that's a lot of money. Um. Probably less than that. I think I'm exaggerating. I think it's only a grand. I got the 3A ratchet when it first ever came out. You can tell I always use this because I still have a ratchet 17. And I use the 17 because you need the 17 to attach the teeter pipe on the Daytona jack. So I use this Milwaukee grinder. You know, if you're in the industry, you should be familiar with this. 3A stubby impact. Call this drill. Half inch. This is the main man right here. If you're in the diesel industry, you know you need this. And uh, ex the extra long head ratchet. And the big bows. The big bows. The half inch. 2620 part number half inch 1400 foot pounds tightening or busting power or something like that Milwaukee that's about it I think I ruined my uh, <laughs> I do have the rotary tool somewhere here that I'm missing but I have more Milwaukee tools need to buy not just because I or things or to look cool or whatever but I need it just because I need it for a new job that I might start working once this COVID-19 is all over with and other than that I have Harbor Freight jack stands you already seen my Harbor Freight Daytona jack Harbor Freight dead blow funnel and towel this is really cheap by the way 15 bucks for this and Amazon it's a shop towel but it's not a cheap shop towel that you use but it's also not a rag so you can use it multiple times and it's fine so it saves you a lot of money on the side you can have a this is basically my brake job kit or part of area because I have a Brake, let, brake part lubricant, and the seize lubricant, uh, penetrating oil, WD. These are some of the things you need if you want to do <clears throat> brake job. Because if you're not using this, you know you're about to froze up your brakes. So, yeah. and you're about to make a lot of noise in your brakes. So, just letting you know, you need one of these. 15 bucks on Amazon. Other than that, we can switch to my Big Boss Toolbox, the Milwaukee Toolbox, which has my most expensive ratchets, Matco 24 inch, flex head, locking flex head ratchets, snap on, half inch, non comfort grip, locking flex head hatchet, ratchet, 3 8 drive. Locking flex head ratchet, Matco, with a comfort grip. Snap on, fix head, half inch ratchet. This looks hella dope, by the way. 3 8 half inch ratchet. Oh, no, 3 8 drive, 12 inch ratchet. I'm sorry, guys, I'm tripping. I need more coffee. 
quarter inch locking flex head ratchet. And this is gotta be the most fanciest quarter inch ratchet I've ever seen, ever had. Caliper measuring, uh, punch and chisel set. This has gotta be my Sonix impact. Uh, hex impact the wall bits. This is my screw, and this is my electronic set with power probe. Open this real quick. They didn't come with a box, but I got I saw this box just lying around. So, this is basically my electronic and diagnostic kit. This one special for people that's doing inspection on trailers the seven way next next one would be radio host spires scraper set um, half inch drive 12 point gear wrench this is the best that you will get if you like using 12 points because it goes all the way to 36, goes all the way to 30. Man, this is this is this is a dope set and it's it's doesn't it looks like a snap-on quality. Hex uh tech 10, this is empty. Oh no, this is not empty, this is my tech 10 uh torque. Snap on pry bars, snap on picks, and snap on extra long head, snap on pliers. That's about it on my toolbox, guys. I don't have much. I wish I had more, but I'm still starting out, and this is only my home garage, so. Hopefully, you like my toolbox and you had some idea about my toolbox, what you want to get. If you like my video, leave a comment. If you don't like it, leave a comment. Um, I need to know any things I need to improve on. If you don't tell me, I wouldn't know. So, I'm still starting out on this video thing. I uh, know I posted a couple of videos, but I just need to know what I'm doing wrong. So, if you could give me a comment, whatever. If you hate on this video, that's cool too. But, other than that, you guys have a good day. I'm out.